very close race with Adam and Oprah to uh, finish out the qualifying stage. Uh, you know, we, we had a great start. We pushed him over the line early, and uh, he had to do a lap around the pin, which is pretty painful in the IODs. And um, you know, on the second beat, we were uh, just a little bit out of phase, and uh, he was able to just get back into the race. And um, you know, we thought we completed attack on the starboard, but uh, instead we're given a red flag penalty, so we were able to uh, kind of just get our penalty in at the top mark and. Um, set low into a nice puff and um, you know we just matched the jive and soaked down onto him and we're able to get around him at the end which is nice. Yeah you know like I said we've, we've definitely changed since the first day uh, as a team and uh, we're feeling pretty good in the boats as well as uh, um, just kind of playing the harbor. Hamilton Harbor is really tricky so uh, we're, we're feeling pretty confident in all aspects right now. Uh, hopefully we can yeah like you said carry that through to the quarterfinals. Very tight race to finish off the round robin for us. Uh, the female Curry takes against Taylor Canfield. Um, yeah, we're a bit disappointed to lose it, but there's a lot of positives to take from that race. I mean, we were over the line just by a smidgen, and uh, we managed to still claw our way back into the race on the first beat to have a situation at the top mark. Um, kept it close on the run, and then in the second beat, we got the right side again and got the lead. And um, we had a nice, we were on starboard, we were on port, we had a nice dial down. He went and tacked in front of us. We just got the hook and made him tack again. And then we tacked with and had him locked, we thought, out to the right hand side. And he just slammed into a tack in front of us and uh, he copped a red flag penalty. And um, fortunately for Taylor, we, ran, we were running the top mark together, him with a red flag penalty, and he was still in a, we were in a light air spot at the time, so he did his penalty and came out and uh, caught the next gust down to come right back into us and on our tail again. And on the uh, final drive into the finish line, um, yeah, I made another mistake there and went for the luff instead of just uh, waiting for a full clear behind for just shepherding, shepherding him away from the start of the finish line. So I don't know, it's good to have a tough race in the round robin so it prepares you for the quarterfinals and uh, hopefully you can take some good lessons from that uh, into the next stage. Yeah, we've uh, had a great time in the round robin now, so we just uh, we managed to qualify for the quarterfinals, which was, to be perfectly honest, we, we didn't really know how we would go coming into this event, and uh, we're, we're very happy with that. We've had some great racing, fantastic conditions, and yeah, we look forward to whoever we end up sailing in the quarterfinals. They're obviously all very good teams in that final eight, and it'll be tough whoever we end up racing. Not a great day for GAC Pindar. We only had one race and we lost it to Bjorn Hansen, but we had an exciting race and uh, it, it didn't mean a, a great deal for us. So it was good to get get stuck in and have some few penalties here and there, and you know get get some good racing. It's been uh, a change of conditions today to the south southwesterly, which uh, I think we're going to get going on into the quarterfinals. So the racing today, I think, is going to be very important for you know into the quarters and. and making sure we're on top of our game for, for that round. We're, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to pick uh, Taylor Canfield, uh, really because of the, um, the way the tour's shaping up. Uh, we, we need to get him hopefully knocked out early in this regatta so he doesn't take too much of a lead on us into uh, Malaysia.